Hello everyone, I'm Mingwei, also known as at Mingwei Rocks on TikTok, Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. Some of you guys may know me as the son who always got pranked by his dad, Daddy Ming, or the guy in the bow and arrow meme. So today, I'm here with Poison PC and Asus to build an AMD Trap Reaper Pro workstation. As a content creator, I film and edit a lot of videos most of the time, so the rendering and exporting takes up a large portion of the production process. For example, whenever I'm editing video, a slight change in a 4K video will result in hours of exporting and rendering. So if I can actually reduce this time, I can make much more videos and create more content. So when Poison PC actually reached out to me about building and testing out a Trap Reaper workstation, I was really excited because I heard a lot about Asus and Poison PC, but I really couldn't afford one of these. So without further ado, here are the parts that we'll be using today. So first, we have the AMD Trap Reaper Pro 3975WX CPU here. So this is a 32 core CPU in at professionals and content creators. And with the Trap Reaper Pro, we have the we have the Asus Pro WS WRX80 Sage SE Wi-Fi motherboard here. So this motherboard features a dual 10G Intel LAN, 7 Gen 4 PCIe slots, 3 onboard NVMe M.2 slots and includes a 4x PCIe 4.0 16x M.2 riser card. So for those who need additional NVMe storage, it also has remote management for enhanced hardware level control for improved IT management and efficiency. This is actually perfect for content creators like me and professionals. So with this, let's start to build this PC. So first I'll be putting this Trap Reaper CPU into this motherboard. So first I need to insert the CPU here. So I need to unscrew them first. This CPU is actually 4000 over dollars, so I need to take good care of this. So now the CPU is in, I'll move on to insert some RAMs into this motherboard. So here I have a bunch of RAMs and each RAM is actually 32 gig each and each actually costs 400 over dollars. So I have a total of 256 gig of RAM here which I'll be inserting today. So now I've inserted the RAM, I'll be moving on to insert the SSD. So I have now, I have two NVMe SSD which I'll be inserting into this motherboard. So actually this motherboard can insert up to 7 where I can put 3 in this motherboard and 4 in this riser card. Um, so now I turn the motherboard around. I need to just screw this back before we move on. Okay, so now the motherboard is done. We're going to insert this into the casing. So this casing is actually ROG certified O11 Dynamic XL. So let me lift it down first. So now we're putting this motherboard into this casing. So let me put it high speed. So now I'll screw it up. ROG Core 1200W Platinum Power Supply I have already taken out for the box 
so we'll be preparing it for installation now. Okay, next we will install a liquid CPU cooler. So here I have the Ryujin 2 360 liquid CPU cooler. So what makes this CPU cooler so special is that it comes with a screen on the CPU block to display your GIFs or photos. Also, the Ryujin 2 360 comes with Noctua industrial PPC fans. So for the uninitiated, Noctua actually makes one of the best fans in the industry. Also, we will be installing a graphic card. So for the graphic card, we'll be installing the Asus ROG Strix Radeon RX 6800 XT LC graphics card. So the LC in the name represents liquid cooled. So this graphic card has a liquid cooling system built within to increase cooling performance during gaming and other heavy workloads. So with this, let's install them. Now we'll be installing the top bar fans to the radiator. Time constraint, and because it's so boring, I've asked the guys in Poison PC to help me install the radiator at the side of the PC. So now I'm going to show you guys the more interesting part, which is to install this graphic card into this casing. Now we have built finished the workstation and the workstation here is so beautiful with all the flashy colors and inside this beautiful workstation it actually has 32 core and 256 gigabyte of ECC memory so now I know that even though a computer is strong it can also be very beautiful so together with this workstation I have with me other peripheral the ROG Swift PG32 UQ 144Hz monitor with 160% sRGB coverage, very good for creators and gamers. Together with this monitor, I have with me other peripherals here, which is the Asus ROG Moonlight White series. I have the Asus ROG Scope NX, ROG Strict Impact 2, ROG Go Call. So this is uh, the whole setup that uh, we have completed today. So when Poison PC first reached out to me to build this PC, I was actually very excited but also very nervous at the same time because I was afraid that I would break a PC, especially such an expensive PC here. But throughout the whole process of building the PC, actually it was very fun and it was actually very um, exciting. Like um, There's so much details into building a PC that I don't know before that and I was Glad that I was given this opportunity by Poison PC. So um, now, enough of me talking. We will move on to trying this PC on some games and actually trying to render and export one of the videos that I made. So with this, let's move on to part two, where we will actually be testing out the performance of this PC. So see you.